Today we profile Lou Holtz. He's the only football coach in our history to have led six different college programs to bowl games. He was born in 1937. He marries Beth. He's 140 pounds and he talks with a lisp. Let's jump ahead. He's 26 years old. He loses his job. Beth is pregnant with their third child. And she comes home and she says, Honey, I've enrolled you in a motivational weekend. Lou says, Beth, honey, that's for losers. That's for losers. Well, Lou, if you don't go, I'm going to pack up take the kids, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go back to mom and dad. Well, honey, since you put it that way, this might be something nice to go to. So he goes to this motivational weekend. He comes home Sunday night. Honey, I apologize. I've let you down. I haven't made you proud. I haven't been a good father, good husband, but I'm a new man. I'm a new man. I'm going to make you proud. I'm going to change the world. Beth, one of the things they had us do all weekend was write down goals in our life. And I wrote down a hundred goals, big goals. Can I share them with you? Sure, Lou. The list is very famous. I believe he's done 88 of them. Very famous list. This guy's 26 years old, 140 pounds, talks with a lisp out of work, never coached football. So be on the Johnny Carson show. Have dinner at the White House. Have a private audience with the Pope. Climb the Himalayas. Become the head football coach of the Fighting Irish, Notre Dame. Unbelievable, 100 of them. Beth, honey, what do you think? Well, Lou, this is, this is fantastic, but you're missing one. Oh, no, 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 I stayed up all weekend. I got them all. Lou, you're missing one. Honey, I got them all. What am I missing? Lou, honey, get a job. Coach Rick Forzano ultimately gives him his first college coaching job opportunity at Kent State. His first head coaching job was at William & Mary. I think they won three games the first year. And after the last game, they got beaten badly, and the press comes in and says, Coach, Coach, what can you tell us in two or three paragraphs about the season and your team this year? He said, well, I can tell you in one sentence. We had too many Marys and not enough Williams. The man is probably one of the greatest motivational speakers in our lifetime. He gets $30,000 a speech. His video, Do Right, is the top selling motivational video of all time. Many books, including Three Rules for Living a Good Life. In 1977, he becomes the head football coach at Arkansas. In that first year, he takes him to the championship game in the Orange Bowl, New Year's night. They're playing Oklahoma for the national championship. Arkansas is a 27-point underdog going into the game. One or two days before the game, Lou Holtz suspends his two running backs and his top wide receiver, who accounted for most all the points. They're already 27-point underdogs. Calls the team together and he says, here's how we're going to win. We still have the number one defense in the country. We've got great punting games, special teams, etc. And we're going to beat Oklahoma. They actually beat Oklahoma that night, 31-6. to In 1986, he becomes the head football coach at Notre Dame the Fighting Irish, his dream job. 1988, they're top rated. They've got a guy, Timmy Brown, a wide receiver, who went on to win the Heisman Trophy that year. But neither quarterback were great throwers. 
Tony Rice, Terry Andrzejczyk. There are six and oh, it's a Tuesday practice and after practice, you know, the press comes in every night and Lou, how was practice today? Well, my quarterbacks today were so awful that after the first hour, I took the footballs away from them and I gave them live grenades. Ain't nobody even got injured. The gift of gap. Some quotes. Better to be quiet and let them think you're dumb than to open your mouth and leave no doubt. Discipline is not what you do to someone. Discipline is what you do for someone. A camel is a horse designed by a committee. Let me say that again. A camel is a horse designed by a committee. If you want to be happy for an hour, eat a steak. For a day, play golf. For a week, go on a cruise. For a month, buy a new car. For a year, win the lottery. But if you want to be happy for a lifetime, make good choices. You need something to do, someone to love, something to believe in, and something to hope for. He wrote his philosophy of life for me one time. My philosophy consists of three rules. Do right, do your best, show people you care. Because everyone you meet asks three questions. Can I trust you? Are you committed to excellence? Do you care about me and the organization? By following these three rules, they will always be able to trust you, know you are committed to excellence, know that you care about them, in the organization. Simple philosophy of life, but an effective one, Lou Holtz. That, friends, is the story of Lou Holtz. Thanks much for watching. Until we meet again, please remember, with God, anything is possible, Spohome.